Hello, and welcome back to Fleshman and Son. <clears throat> we uh, ordered a stainless steel gravity slash grappling hook to go along with our magnet. And I'm going to unbox that right now to show you what it's all about. Um, it came with a little congratulations, blah, blah, blah card says that I get some something free I don't know but the funny thing about this is I ordered this last night on Saturday about 6 p.m. and it was here by noon today and it was supposed to be a three only three days came less than 24 hours oops well there's what it looks like when you get it here's the gravity puller see as you pull up on something the gravity takes over just like that it's pretty well built pretty strong um, it's got the third piece in here that you add to it which turns it into the the grappling hook push that together and then to keep that from coming apart to keep that unlocked or keep that locked in it has this little slide lock right here my dad ripped that, this. That flips over. And then it won't come apart. It also comes with, I think it said 60. Doesn't look like 60. My dad ripped the fingers off of this and Pavel taped them back. And I was really mad when my dad did it. No! This is an unboxing video, Lane, for our channel. I know. And, and you're talking it's about something. It doesn't even make sense, buddy. Yeah! Thanks. Now, will you stop? No. And be part of this? Yes. All right. Explain to them what we're going to do with this. We're going to use it with our magnet, fishing magnet, that we did an unboxing video with. It also comes with a rubber, well, two rubber washers. I don't know where the other one is. Probably downstairs. Um, that slide over. Is this for a rubber washer? Nope, I don't need that. Silly. Uh, to Smash also keep it locked into place. Smash Bros is on, by the way. That's some pretty good cord. Can I hold this but, for a minute? Uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll hang this. We'll hook this onto the uh, magnet itself, and it will drag behind. And the theory is, you know, if the it comes off of the magnet, at least the hook will grab a hold of it and pull it up. Or if you get something right under you, and it's a little bit uh, too heavy or the magnet doesn't stick just right to it, you can, you know, put your rope on this and get a good claw on it. Wait, Dave, did you show them the mode where this is upside down? No. Oh, there's another mode that my dad didn't show yet. Well, because I don't know what it's for. I don't know. I see in the pictures they they hooked it upside down that way, but I don't know what the purpose is. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. So I had to take this out. It's kind I of. I can't remember what the ad said. If it was 60 feet or 30 feet, it looks more like about 25 feet here total. I need to take this off so I can do. Here. Yeah, you take that off so I can show them. There. And now you can put it upside down like this. So then. You can lock it into place like this. I think this might be for the uh, rock climbing aspect that it's also used for. No, I think... Maybe to grip into this between two rocks really well that way. And this is to ply on rocks? Huh? That looks like it's supposed to ply into rocks. Ply into rocks, yeah. I guess so. It's got some pretty good little jagged edges. It looks like it can catch well. Um, it even looks like it has a little hexagon thing here for maybe some kind of tool or something. I don't. I don't, I don't know if maybe you could. Uh, Wait, Daddy, give me this for a use minute. Use it for a wrench. Give me it. Here, you stay here. I want to go grab the magnet. So I can give them an example of how it will go on the magnet. Okay, my dad's leaving, 
so this is the road that I tried to turn it into. Uh, this is this part. Hard, it's hard to push in. There we go. I got it. It's kind of like the other mode, but it's in here. Okay. So I have to take this out. I think you can use this mode too for climbing. And my dad's back. This is our double sided magnet that we have. Mm -hmm. My dad's magnet. And I have my own magnet that's not double sided. Okay, let me see that thing. I try to make it stick there. It won't. It's stainless steel. That's another thing about stainless steel is if you're going to get a, uh, a grappling hook. You want to get a stainless steel because stainless steel is not magnetic. So it will not just stick to your magnet. That's the idea right there. Scoop kind, of, kind of hang it on there like Scoop that. Us. What I'll probably do is add another carabiner, to be honest, to make it a little longer so that it actually will hang more down here behind the magnet. Mm -hmm. Wait. That's how strong the double-sided magnet is. No, it's a lot stronger than holding scissors, but... Like, I know. But yeah, it will. It'll, it'll grab things from... I don't know. I thought the pencil would stick. Do you know why? Because this part's metal right here. No, that part's aluminum. No, I thought it was metal. Nope, aluminum, stainless steel, none of those things will stick to a magnet. They do not have magnetic. But here's our rig right here. And I can't wait to try it out. Fleshman and Son. Yep, that's backwards probably. But that's the name of the channel. Ow. Tell them what to do, Lane. Hit that notification notification bell and like and subscribe. Because I have my own YouTube channel. It's called Lane's Crazy World. And we only have two subscribers. I think we have three by now. Now dab us out. Peace.